Good morning, Dr. Gary on the road here from Healthcare Practice Sales, where we're involved in the sale of dental practice and the brokerage of such dental practices. An older senior doctor often selling to a younger buyer, and we put that deal together. The name of our company is Healthcare Practice Sales, LLC, 201-663-0935. Website www.dentalpracticeguide.com. Dentalpracticeguide.com. And we'd like to give you up and coming advice and what's happening on a daily basis. All the information is not legal, it is not legal advice or is it uh, business advice. Hazard reported ahead. For uh, entertainment purposes. But anyway, uh, we have a situation now that um, the a uh, large DSO or private equity is buying a company, a, a dental office, and they went in there about three weeks before we have a closing coming up, and a uh, twist in the plans, all of a sudden the staff are actually upset that they're getting, being offered uh, medical insurance. Apparently, the doctor was not offering it and some of the staff members qualified for government insurance because they didn't have it or their husband had insurance or a spouse had the insurance and uh, this plan was actually going to cost them more out of pocket but it was a better plan and this is causing like chaos and you've got to manage it and this is where we come in I believe and we try to negotiate calm the staff members down uh, explain because we're that buffer zone. Sometimes the buyers all of a sudden are look like could look like the uh, the bad guy. Um, but most of it right now is being handled by the internal team at the DSO, and we're standing by to jump in to help uh, negotiate if there's a problem. So sometimes it does. Uh, do you tell the staff ahead of time or not? Is often a question. I find on the private sales it may. It may work out better not to tell them so you don't get everybody upset. Uh, on the larger sales, they generally always insist on meeting the doctors and sometimes the staff. It's just required. But here's a situation where the staff is informed ahead of time and the staff is very upset. So we're trying to work this out right now. We do have a closing coming up. But you've got to appreciate the emotions which occur with staff members. Also, we're finding some of the doctors now are kind of are voicing their opinions more than they had in the past, that they want to things, see how things will change. Now, the senior doctor is staying on, and the younger doctors also are staying on, but you find some uh, people getting pretty nervous when a transition is coming. It has to be managed. You have to be in control with the staff. You've got to explain everything to the staff. Show them this is better for everybody because with this one DSO, the doctors themselves will be able to buy shares in the DSO and financially could work out very better, much better for them. But we'll have to see how this plays out. Right now we're dealing with a lot of stress. A lot of the staff are upset. And you always get one or two, let's call them moles in the staff, that says everybody's quitting or wants to convince everybody to quit. And you've got to deal with this. Nothing is easy. Every deal is different. Every staff makeup is different, and you've got to just handle this through communication and um, finding out what the real problem is, what the complaints are, explain to them this is a better medical insurance they're getting than what they have already, and knows that the one staff member that had um, uh, insurance that was the uh, government insurance, but this is actually better than the government insurance. So we've got to communicate to them. Let's see how things develop. We'll keep you posted. We're supposed to have a closing coming, coming up soon. All right, we'll see you now. It's a pleasure talking to you. Bye.